Firefox launches a beta version of their very own browser-based VPN coming up on Split Second Tech. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another Split Second Tech video. Today's topic is the return of Firefox's test pilot program with their very own browser-based VPN service called Firefox Private Network. Although Firefox's private network is not actually a true VPN, it does provide you with some of the traditional features of a VPN, such as end-to-end -end encryption and hidden IP addresses. This works perfectly well if you're using a public Wi-Fi network and you want to protect your traffic. If you're wanting to try out the extension, you will need to, of course, have the latest version of Firefox installed on your machine. If you have Firefox installed, great. Just go ahead and make sure that you're updated. If not, you can head on over to mozilla.org forward slash en dash us forward slash Firefox, which is right up here in the top left hand corner. I'll post that link in the video description and then you can click on the download now link. Once you've gone through the setup, installed Firefox on here, what you're actually gonna want to do is you're gonna want to sign in with a micro, with a uh, Mozilla Firefox account because not only does it help with syncing like your bookmarks and your history in order to try out this beta. Now, because it is in a beta phase, it's actually not gonna show up under Firefox's add-ons. It's not gonna show up in their extension list. So what you actually have to do is come up over here to your URL bar and type in private-network dot firefox.com and hit enter and it's going to take you to their beta page where you can then click right here in the middle where it says add to firefox once you've done that a little pop-up in the top left is going to kick on go ahead and click on add and then over here in the top right hand corner you're just going to go ahead and click okay i got it and then from here you are going to want to sign in right here where it says sign in you're going to want to sign in with the same sign in that you've used for your mozilla firefox account once you have the extension installed and you've signed into your Mozilla account, you'll notice up in the top right hand corner, a upside down teardrop. And they used an upside down teardrop to symbolize all of the tears your ISPs are now going to shed because they can't throttle you based on your traffic type, <clears throat> Comcast. What you're gonna want to do is left click on the teardrop and you have a little drop down that kicks off that allows you to either click on or off or as well as click the toggle switch to toggle the private network on or off. Currently, Firefox's private network is in beta and only accessible while in the US. Although right now it is free, Firefox may end up charging for it in the future with premium options. Firefox has stated over the next couple of weeks to months that we are going to see various changes as we continue to test the extension. They also have no word on when there's going to be an official release date. Even though Firefox's private network extension functions more like a browser proxy, very similar to how Opera's VPN works, it is nice to see Mozilla stepping in the right direction and providing those options to help protect their users' privacy. And with that, that wraps up today's Split Second Tech video, bringing us into our question of the day. What other types of VPN services do you prefer? Leave your answers below. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and check out some of the other videos that we have on this channel. We do a ton of stuff tech related from how to's and tutorials all the way over to tech news like we did today. Subscribe if you're not already and enable the bell notifications so you guys don't miss out on any type of future content. And we will see you on the next one.